I'm in love with the shape of you We push and pull like a magnet do Although my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body And last night you were in my room Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I am so excited about. I know I say that about all my videos, but I am extra excited today because we're talking about Mac. These are my first ever Mac purchases and I am so like I'm besides myself with joy. So we all know I'm obsessed with foundations and I'm obsessed with liquid lipstick. So I had to get my hands on some MAC ones. I wanted to get a variety to sort of show you how different colors perform. And I did get two. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the darker one because these were on sale. As you can see, it's limited edition Helmut Newton. And I was literally just wandering the internet like a three in the morning one day and I found them going at 60% off. They are both red and I know that seems a bit pointless because I mean why would you get two red colors but if you're a makeup lover like me you know that there are red oranges and there are red blues and these are definitely that so this is the blue or red this is the more warm orangey red. They are $21 each and at 60% off I was paying $12.60 for each of these for MAC liquid lipsticks. I was... I was besides myself excited so I did have to get both of them they are the same red color but they are so different high heels was a bit tricky for me to apply it is the second or third time that I'm wearing it and I guess this time it was easier than the first time because the first time I put it on it was so streaky the formula is very lightweight and more watery than Chateau M so it does go on a bit streakier and you do have to kind of build it and build it in order to get it to sort of fully cover your lip so high heels it is a good color and I do like the result that I got in the demo but I think that it is a bit difficult to work with in comparison to Chateau M because this one on the first stroke it just went on totally pigmented covered up my lip completely and I am completely obsessed with Chateau M which is what I have on right now which is what I'm going to do the wear test with because this color just gives me so much life and I love a good bright red but this color just stole my heart for some reason I don't understand and I feel like it's super close to Colourpop's ribbon so I am going to do a comparison video between the two so let's talk about the packaging I love this packaging. It's so small that it can fit really anywhere. I can walk around with it in my pocket. Doesn't take up space in my bag. Absolutely love that. But I did watch um, Balesa Africa. I watched her review of the MAC liquid lipsticks when they first came out. And she dropped one and it instantly broke. So I am so afraid of dropping it. The glass doesn't really seem to be that strong. I'm not risking it by like doing a drop test. So that's not going to happen. Apparently Smashbox and MAC are owned by the same company. So I guess they're kind of coping each other i don't know but the mac wand is you can see this part is transparent it has caught a bit of color but it is for the most part transparent and then look at the shape look at the shape of this i love this wand i think the tip like it's it's not a doe foot it's kind of an oval that ends in a tip it makes application so easy i mean it's kind of tough the first time you use it because as you lay it down it does kind of poke on your lip and kind of make it look a bit streakier than it is but if you just go over it and with just one dip by the way because i did do both lips with just one dip into the bottle which is what i love because if you have to keep dipping and dipping like i don't think that's a mark of a good liquid lipstick you know but the tip makes it so easy to just line your lips so you can actually overline without going overboard and make your lips look all puffy and good and i love that so this is what it looks like completely dried down on my hand as you can see the orange red is on top and the blue red is at the bottom and i don't know if you can see the difference but in person it's very clear that one is definitely more vibrant than the other but right now this blue red is just doing things for me and i'm completely obsessed with it so the key claims that this liquid lipstick has is that i'm just looking off my phone it is long wearing for eight hours color wears evenly and smoothly for eight hours so we have eight hours say three times provides stay true color eight hours so this eight hour thing is really being hammered in so i'm really excited to test it for that long um it says that it is non-feathering and non-bleeding so far i can honestly say i am completely in agreement with that the vibrancy of the color is exactly the same as when i put it on and i will just show you the time because it has taken me a quite a bit of time to film this segment it is now 1 34 pm which means i've had this lipstick on for two solid hours and i feel like the vibrancy looks exactly like it did at the beginning of this video which is 
kind of blowing my mind this is sort of turning into a first check-in so just bear with me because shooting this segment of the video has kind of taken longer than i thought it would it's taken a couple of hours i've had my breakfast which means i've had my lips on something i've consumed food and it still looks absolutely perfect this formula is so comfortable to wear i can barely feel anything on my lips it's not tight at all it's not drying at all but what i do is i always moisturize my lips so i always have like lip balm or as you saw in the demo i did have coconut oil and i did have to rub off the excess of the top lip but i i'm very impressed there's absolutely no feathering no bleeding at all and i didn't use a liner i just used a tip to line the outside of my lips and it still looks absolutely flawless i think even on the inside of my mouth it is looking a little butthole ish but not when i'm talking to you because in the mirror i cannot see anything so when i'm talking to you i'm really hoping you can see the butthole part of my lips but i am really really impressed because it hasn't feathered it barely transferred onto my cup as you can see there is barely anything there the only transfer that i'm seeing is along the outermost rim of the lips so there's only like a small circle there but other than that there's absolutely no transfer i am very impressed i think mac has actually beat out my stilla like i'm gonna start ranking these and i think mac is in the lead because it's so comfortable it's so creamy even high heels as much as it did go on streaky in the end as much as i did have to move it around and really make it work on my lip i think it looked absolutely amazing in the end it felt so comfortable no matter how many times i went over it with the wand it didn't build up it didn't cake up and i keep hearing people saying that you need to use a very thin layer of the mac or it will start like caking and crumbling and whatever i'm not seeing any of that so it is now five o'clock i'm just gonna give you a minute to appreciate the amazingness that's happening on my lips right now i cannot help smiling because i am so excited can you see how true to color this is let me pull up the claim so we can see that it claimed to be long wearing for eight hours this is the six hour mark and i am still head over heels in love with the way it looks i have not touched up at all i have not done anything to my lips i have not done anything to the color and it still looks pretty damn good i am so impressed color wears evenly and smoothly eight hours as you can see on my lips everything is still perfectly even and in place as i put it provides stay true color eight hours i feel like this color has stayed exactly as it was when i first put it on and i am so impressed the stiller one sort of fades as the hours go by it is very creamy i keep mentioning it because it is my second favorite because it is the other best formula i have ever had until i had the mac and now like my mind has been blown i have been completely ruined for liquid lipsticks if it doesn't hold up to this standard like i'm done i'm over it you know but anyway, back to the claims. Non-feathering, non-bleeding. There has been absolutely zero bleeding. This was a user error. This was an application error, so just ignore that. There's been no feathering, no bleeding. It hasn't moved from my mouth at all. I am so incredibly impressed by this. I can't even put it into words. I'm not saying that it's perfect because as you can see, it has sort of faded a little bit on the inside. I don't know if you can see but because i'm looking really closely even with my lips shut like smiling shut you can kind of see that the inside line is sort of coming onto the outside which isn't ideal because you are approaching butthole lips and also in the outermost corners it has sort of faded a little the outermost corners don't look brand new but overall just from a distant impression like if you're smiling at someone from across the room your lipstick will look fresh applied if you're talking to someone in person they may see that you have had it on all day but it still looks pretty damn good at this point i still wouldn't feel the need to reapply at all so i am so so impressed and you know what i think i will reapply just to see how well it layers on top of itself or if you have to take it all off in order to reapply it so this is chateau m and i'm going to scrape off product from the wand because i don't want to reapply too thick a coat and the color does look more vibrant like when it's absolutely fresh but it's not that big a difference from when i had it before i reapplied it it has layered on beautifully i still don't really feel like there's something on my lips but i know i have lipstick on but it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey at all so it is 11 30 p.m right now it is a lot later than i intended to finish this video i thought why not give the reapplication time to really get worn down so we can actually see how well it performs so it is exactly 12 hours of me having this lipstick on my lips and i literally 
let me tell you how comfortable it is it's so comfortable that i was washing dishes and i forgot that i had it on my mouth and i wiped my lips with a wet hand and it just completely slipped my mind until like later and i was like oh my gosh and then i patted them dry and barely anything had come out and this is what it looks like i have not reapplied since i showed you in that video have not touched up anything have not wiped anything from around my mouth i have been eating i have been drinking it is 11 p.m so i've had dinner like three times so far because i eat a lot i think this lipstick is absolutely worth it it is not flawless by any means i'll zoom you in so you can see you can see that when i'm talking to you and even when i do smile you can see the inner parts of my lips because it is sort of fading on the inside but i am completely happy with that considering it's 12 hours of wear with only one touch up and a ton of meals in between i am extremely impressed other than that the transfer is still exclusively on the outline of the lips like the outer rim so it's not like getting on everything that I'm eating and I guess that does help it to wear longer. I am really hoping this is the standard formula across the board as opposed to like the special edition Helmut Newton formula because this formula works amazingly. I will be testing out high heels. I'll update the description box down below when I eventually do test it out. But I'll let you know if it also performs half as well as this one. But I do think this stays true to color. Every single one of its claims it has met. The 8 hour wear 100% met like over and above you know i am completely completely impressed by mac now i am so excited to try out more of their products like i cannot wait i would even pay that 33 dollars to buy it locally to be honest if it's if i knew if i knew for sure the color that i would get would be this amazing i'd definitely pay that price because i do think it's worth it and that is a wrap so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you found my experience with this helpful let me know what you think in the comments down below be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe of course and i will see you in my next video